And we are continuing to follow breaking news in Tampa right now, where police are on the scene of a standoff on 26th Avenue East that's in the Ebor Heights neighborhood. An armed man has barricaded himself and his 10-year-old son inside their home. We want to get right to ABC Action News reporter Adam Weiner. He's been on the scene throughout the morning. Adam, what have you learned out there? Uh, dear, we actually just learned that some of the people who live in the homes immediately surrounding where this hostage situation has developed are being evacuated. They're being escorted away from their homes to make sure that they stay safe. And we've learned a little bit more about how this whole situation behind us, about a block and a half behind us here on 26th Ave East, developed. Uh, we are told that the man apparently drove his vehicle into a girlfriend's vehicle. Uh, she called police call, describing what she called a domestic violence situation. Uh, that is when police showed up. The man went into the home. We're told that the 10-year-old who is in the home with him was likely in the home at the time. And right now, this man says he is not leaving, not if his life depends on it. We are told that he is threatening violence towards himself, possibly towards the officers. Although at this time, last we checked, not towards that 10-year-old, but police obviously very concerned about that 10-year-old's safety. Take a listen. Hostage negotiators are negotiating with him, trying to convince him to come out peacefully. We all want this to end peacefully, especially uh, with potentially a 10-year-old child inside the home. We are told that this man is armed, and we are told that the hostage negotiators have at least been texting with the man, barricaded inside his home, possibly communicating with him in other ways, pleading for this to end peacefully. But right now, Tampa police behind us, heavily armed with body gear as well as heavy weaponry. We saw rifles pointed at the home as they try to end this peacefully, but they are ready for this to end violently if that's what it comes to. Of course, we'll keep you updated as we learn more and as this develops. For now, live in the Ebor Heights neighborhood of Tampa, Adam Weiner, ABC Action News.